Good morning, welcome back to a brand new video here on Miracle Mountain. I have a gap in between the rain. It has been absolutely throwing it down for the last couple of days. Look behind me, the lake is filling up. If I just walk across the bridge towards the island, you'll be able to see the water flowing out really nicely here and going down this nice little waterfall area that I've created and it's really filling up. This is definitely the most water that I have seen in the lake, which is incredible. And you can see I got my canoe over there. I could actually go out in it right now because it's about four foot deep, so it's deep enough. But if I just walk around, I can show you that it's actually, wow, there's a big goldfish down there. No way. That must have come down from the original pond. I can't believe it. Wow, we have life. How crazy is that? But you can see it is joined all the way around. I need to go and find that goldfish in a minute. That's incredible. It's joined all the way around. And this is actually the deepest area of the lake. You can see that big stone over there sticking out. That is when the previous owners built this lake. That was for diving off in the summer into the deepest area, which is about three meters deep. So it's more than deep enough to jump off. That has thrown me so off guard seeing that fish. I need to go down to the side of the lake and see if I can find it. Hello there and welcome to me with my hairband on that I use when I wash my face every morning and night and also when I'm about to do stuff with skincare like I'm going to do right now. I have got the Foreo Sweden's newest UFO collection. It's called the UFO 3 and is absolutely the most amazing skincare tool I've ever used. I'm not even joking. The handheld deep hydrating facial device is more effective than a sheet mask in just two minutes with the five spa facial features. It's so simple to use. On the app, you just choose which face mask you're using and press go. Then you just rub it over your face like this and get completely lost in the moment whilst it does its work. I suffer from really dry skin during the winter, so it's been an absolute game changer for me. It actually increases the skin's moisture by 126%. I've already noticed a significant increase in my skin's moisture levels thanks to the thermotherapy feature that allows the product to really sink into the skin. It's been clinically proven that in just seven days, the UFO 3's LED therapy can visibly reduce wrinkles. The UFO 3 is rarely discounted, but we've managed to get a 21% discount for the first 100 viewers who click the link in our description. So if you want to feel like you're being pampered every single day, I highly recommend grabbing yours today. <laughs> So I'm just driving past the lake now and I wanted to show you guys why I was so excited to see that fish because the goldfish was stopped in the pond which is a lot further away from the lake so that fish has had to come a really long way so I'm going to drive all the way from the lake to the pond in real time so you can kind of get an idea of how far that fish has had to travel. It's pretty crazy. It would have been a, uh, a rough journey in one of the storms that we had. Probably in September, I would say, we had the hardest rain. And we had some crazy rain the last few days as well. I'm just going past now on the right hand side where the fish would have come from up there 
and travelled down there but the pond is much further up the mountainside so let's keep going and I will show you where the fish were located before they made it to the lake and unfortunately I couldn't get any uh, really decent footage of the fish in the lake because they kept hiding under reeds every time they saw me they kept hiding but there was one absolutely massive goldfish which is pretty incredible and down the line when the lake's completely fixed we are going to stock that pond for fishing it's going to be amazing go out there on a boat so right now I am nearly at the pond let's park up here and have a look because there's definitely no fish in this pond anymore that's for sure so right here is where the fish would have traveled from the pond through the overflow it would have either gone through the black pipe or took a really rough journey down here and into another pipe that goes all the way to the lake but it's pretty incredible to think that it's traveled that far it's a long long way it's a lot of pipe and this is the spring fed pond that the goldfish were introduced to so this is where they were all first living and this is spring fed really nice crystal clear water so the fish must have made their way through that overflow pipe just there that silver pipe it also gets incredibly steep on the last section that goes down to the lake I'm really surprised that's why I was so surprised that I saw a fish in there and now we are going to take a left here up this dirt track right up the mountain so that I can start some work framing out the walls of the cabin super excited about that it's going to be a lot of fun hopefully it doesn't rain So I just walked the chop saw up and now I've got all my tools in this bag to take up with me but I noticed on here some of the leaves have been moved out of the way and there's uh, actual hoof marks let me just try and see if I can find some hoof marks definitely there and here and also there's some scat a little bit further up I remember just seeing a minute ago let me see if I can find it because I think the boars have definitely been about okay there it is a little bit further up than I remembered I reckon that's from a boar after I've done my work today I think I'll go back down and come all the way back up and set up a trail camera because there's clearly a lot of evidence of different wildlife here which means it's a perfect location for the cabin not only for the logging that is the whole reason for the cabin so we can log up here and have somewhere to shelter but also to see some wildlife it's getting a little bit cluttered up here but what can I do there's not a whole lot of space to store stuff I've got a lot of two by fours under this plastic sheet that I carried up got all the windows the door I still need to bring up but I'm not going to be working on that today so basically I bring up something every time I come up here I'm not going to waste a trip all the way up here and not bring something so I've got 99% of the stuff it's basically just the door and today I'm going to start on the framing
things are moving on really nicely. I've just cut all of the wood to size for the back wall. The back wall is the most simple. It doesn't have a window in it. The front wall right here is gonna have that big, nice square window right in the front. It's gonna have lovely views out. I can tell you moving all of this up here was really hard, but that's the name of the game when you don't have a road <laughs> to the cabin site. This is working out really nicely, using a deck to cut all the timber. Let's go, let's get this back wall up. The back wall is now up, you can see it in the background. Let me explain a few things. It's just an absolute pleasure working up here, it really is. Got a nice little setup going on. And as you can see, the back wall is up and there's plenty of height. Check this out, if I spin around, if I stand next to it, I'm six foot three and you can see the top is there. So two and, two and a half meters high by two and a half meters long, by two and a half meters wide. It's just a perfect box. And when I put the roof on, which is gonna be a pitched roof, it's gonna actually feel more spacey than it actually is in here. And that is why I kept the height nice and high. So here's another angle that I've never shown you guys. But if I come down here, you'll be able to see in the distance the cabin and it just sits really nicely, just drops down behind that stone wall. It really is beautiful. I cannot wait for the leaves to come out on these trees. It's just gonna look incredible. back finally talking on camera it feels like absolutely years since the last time I did this and I wanted to tell you what I've been up to whilst Theo's up in the forest because I can't go up there with him I'm still recovering from abdominal surgery it's a very long and slow process I can't lift anything heavy I can't do anything strenuous I'm still doing bits and pieces because my surgery was at the end of last year and now it's almost February so I don't need to be as immobile as I was but I still can't do everything that I used to do. I'm still doing things on the farm though because it'd be impossible not to and they're safe things for me to do. One of those is looking after the animals, letting them out, taking them for walks, doing that kind of thing, collecting the chickens eggs and another thing, I don't know if you can see it behind me, is I've been doing some winter pruning. I've given the olive trees on the road just here a really harsh prune. They've not been pruned for absolutely years, probably maybe five to ten years and they were incredibly overgrown and bushy and it's just been really nice to actually get them down to a natural level, a better level. So you can see here some of the old spindly stuff that I just must have missed when I was cutting it off. That all has to go, it hinders growth, it makes it impossible to actually get any olives off there because there's just so much going on, removing anything that was in the middle of the trees. So I've done a few of the olives, I've also been starting on the apples because they are dormant and it's the perfect time to start on those. I've also been doing it down on this orchard which really needed a prune because it's just impossible for the tractor to get through. It's mainly apples, there's a few cherries, 
to my left and it's not the right time of year to prune those so I've not pruned the cherries I've done the pears I've done the apples and just above me here <laughs> There's some bits that are too high for me to be able to get to and a chainsaw is needed because they're just too thick to use the loppers on. But it's been really nice to be able to clear these walkways out and make room. It's really opened up the space. I'm actually so excited to see how this year's growth is going to be. I've not cleared as I've gone along. There's a lot of debris around. Fernando's is seeing some grass. So I need to collect all those up. But it's really good to see these trees that were just absolutely overgrown. Nicely pruned. There was one further down there. As you can see, I've not managed to do those ones yet. They still look wild. These trees were getting so overburdened in the summer because they just had so much extra growth that quite a few of them have had snapped branches and that's obviously not good because then infection can get in and it just impedes the growth the more fruit that's on the tree the less good <laughs> the fruit isn't going to be as good because it's having to put more effort into more fruit so the less branches the less overgrowth the better the fruit and the healthier the tree so i know i've already said it like 10 times but i am really excited to see how these trees fare this spring and summer and what kind of fruit we get from them because they do produce an awful lot of fruit what do you think of my pruning fernando is it acceptable what would you give me out of 10 <laughs> this boy follows me everywhere don't you so I have been taking it fairly simple and easy whilst I've been back. I don't think, I don't know how much Theo has spoken about why I went to the UK and the surgery that I had. I don't know if you'd be interested to know more about it and why I had it and the effect it has had on me and how good I feel. But I'm more than happy to talk about it. If you want me to talk about it, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to explain why, how, who and all that kind of stuff about my surgery and the surgery that I did have was a complete hysterectomy with the ovaries removed and absolutely everything so I am now in surgical menopause at the age of 34 but it was the best thing I've ever done in my life. It is an absolutely beautiful morning and yesterday I got rained off, that's why I had to stop basically, which was a little bit frustrating because I was halfway through the second wall, but I've got a couple of hours before some friends are coming to visit later on this afternoon. So I thought I'd come up here and see if I can't get that wall up with the window and maybe even another one. Let's see how far I get, but before I do that, I've got to move some things. I brought up with me some three meter lengths of timber because that's going to be the overhang for the roof. So I need to sort that out today with the framing. I've got the chop saw and a bag of goodies that needs to go up. So three separate trips and then I can start some work. This project, it's so good for the brain. You have to think so much about everything you're doing. One, safety. If I injure myself up here, it's gonna be bad news. So always being really careful and thinking five steps ahead. Cause the last thing you wanna do oh, is forget something or forget the materials. So it's a good workout for the brain and I'm already feeling physically fitter from doing this walk multiple times a day. It really is. A project I think almost anyone should have a go at. Everything is now up on site. I got the chop saw down there. I need to make a little workbench because I've no longer got room on here. But when the sun is shining, it is fabulous. Check this out. I've just started framing the window and then the rain cooled it off. So basically need to box the window in, get the top plate on, and then I can start lifting this wall right here. I know I keep saying it, but I'm absolutely pumped. Every time I get up here, it's just, just a wonderful sight. I'm so happy I picked here for this cabin. So 
like I said, I'm gonna crack on with the framing right now. Probably have to take my jacket off because it's starting to warm up. I just found some ice on one of the tarps. So it was very cold last night, but when the sun's out, there's not a cloud in the sky. This is what Portugal is all about. Coming into the spring, the wildflowers, the meadows on the property, on the terraces, the leaves on the trees. There's no place I'd rather be. I cannot believe what's just happened. I was so stoked. I just finished framing the second wall with the window in it. And I went to check if the window fit, which it did. And then when I went to pop the window frame back out, disaster. Look at this. I literally had everything framed, everything ready to go. I was just taking the frame back out and I pulled it a little bit too hard and it's completely smashed. So this window is useless and it's a custom size window. Can't get another one of them. What I'm gonna have to do is just take this glass out and get another piece of glass cut to this size and refit it when the wall and the window frame is in. There's nothing else I can do. That is gutting. That window's traveled so far to get here. I was literally on the last little bit about to just take the window out so I could fit the wall. And now look at this, it's completely smashed, but that's the problem with using these old windows with sketchy frames that need a little bit of work. Ah. So I've just gone over to filming on my phone because now the GoPro will not work. It keeps running out of battery, even though I've got like 10 full batteries, all of them are saying they will not work and they run out of battery as soon as I start recording because it is really quite cold. So I guess they're just not working properly, but here I am on my phone and trying to find the positives in what just happened. Maybe the positive is if I just put that window in the cabin and later down the line it smashed, it would be even more of a pain. Do you like that joke? <laughs> so I guess I better start cleaning up this glass. Another funny thing is this has traveled so far. Now I've got to take all of this broken glass back down the mountainside without cutting myself. <laughs> That is a big wall.
Wow. <laughs> that is cool. What a view. And here is a shot of the view out of the main front window. This is exactly why I framed it here because it looks like a painting. I'm so happy with the positioning. Can't wait to sit here and enjoy the view. The time has come to bring the door up. I've been waiting a long time to bring this door up because it is so heavy as you can probably tell by my breathing. But nearly there. It's hard to show how steep this is on camera. But I'm excited to get this door fitted and all four walls complete. How good is this now looking? I got three walls in there, two windows, and now I just need a door to get it completely framed before I move onto the roof, which is exciting. Look at that. I place these windows so you can see through one and then through the other. They're just perfectly placed, let me show you. And here's a view from the outside so you can see the positioning of the other window. There's a nice shot of it in its entirety. And if I come closer, you'll be able to see why I position this window here. It just perfectly lines up with the other one. And this is gonna make really nice viewing, especially like if we're looking for wild animals and stuff like that and using it as a hide. But right now I need to move this whole frame back here. So I've got enough space on this deck to build the last wall with the door that's gonna go about here. They say that I'm the king of California They tip their hats and wave But hey, don't say I didn't warn you Cause with the other hand they'll clench their fists And when you turn your back they'll stab and twist It's the life that we must live And we find fortune There's a pocket watch and a jacket on my shoulder and I feel this way, time goes by and I keep on getting older I reach for gold to place my bed Brush past the half-told cigarette It's a lonely life inside my head But still I'm hanging on and I keep waiting Waiting all along for you to cave in Admit that you The final wall has just been completed with the doorway. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's actually up. And that's the thing I've got to do now. It's so tough on your own. These are heavy walls, but I reckon I'm gonna manage it. I've managed all the other ones. The problem is the space is a lot tighter now. So let's see how I go. It's going to be cool to see where the doorway is. If I've mapped it out correctly, it should flow really nicely.
look behind me. I got four walls up. So happy about that. It feels so spacious inside as well. Let me give you a little tour. So obviously we've got the window on the front, the window on the side, and then I, I chose not to put a window here. It's just overkill. So we've just gone for the door. The doorway is nice and large, easy to get in. And then just gonna have stunning views with a little bench over here. But look at that, it's framed so nicely, the mountains are. And the space is just feels way bigger than I thought it would, which is really good. Obviously when we put the roof on, it's gonna feel a little bit smaller, but gonna have a nice pitch roof there, maybe a dormer over here. It's gonna be very, very cool. I really want to get the door installed today, but unfortunately it's now lunchtime and I'm very hungry. So I need to go to the city as well to pick up 65 liters of hydraulic oil that I've ordered for a piece of equipment. So that's really exciting. I will talk about that on a different video, but check out this view of the cabin. There we go. The cabin in its natural element. Here's a nice angle of it from a little bit of a distance. Look at that massive boulder with all the moss on it. And then the cabin just sitting there. <laughs> I love it, absolutely love it. Thank you so much for joining me. The sun is just going behind the mountain. We lose the sun up here quite early because obviously we're on the side of the mountain really high up. So the sun is disappearing for now. So it's gonna get a little bit chilly. Like I said, I'm gonna go to the city Thank you for watching. I am really enjoying building this cabin, if you can't tell already. And I'll catch you on the next video.